AutoCAD user, I used to have the same viewport problems, but these tricks simplified my life. AutoCAD viewports are objects that display views of model space. You create viewport using mView command and place them always in paper space. You can then double click on the viewport to get inside model space and arrange your drawing by zooming in or out using your mouse wheel. Also, panning, holding your mouse wheel and moving it in any direction. Once done, double click outside your viewport to get out of it. Viewports are especially effective for scaling your drawings. For example, if you draw a 7 feet tall door in AutoCAD, since these drawings get placed on sheets of paper that are much smaller, a scale factor is required. For instance, a 3 16 of an inch equals to 1 foot that has a factor of 64, or 1 eighth of an inch equals a foot, which a factor is 96. All of these guarantee that the printed drawing can be measured using, for instance, an architectural scale. Pro tip, put your viewboards always on depth point layer so viewport frame doesn't show when printing. Ok, now that you understand what AutoCAD viewports are and how they work, let's get into some tips on how to use them effectively. Number 1. Make sure of showing viewport outlines in model space, so you know the boundaries of where you can draw. But how do you show viewports in model space? Let me show you. Create a rectangle in top of your viewport. Use ch space command and press enter. Then use ps command to get out of your viewport. Let's go to model space to check. Finally, double click to get inside your viewport, use zoom command, hold shift on your keyboard and pick end points to zoom exactly on your viewport frame. Number 2 AutoCAD viewports are complex objects and there will be cases where you need to trim them based on your drawing's needs. However, you cannot trim viewports using regular trim command. Instead, use vclip command with all of its options available, polygonal for instance, to shape your viewports. Number 3. Make sure you know how to quickly create viewport custom scales. This is key because there will be moments where you don't have the correct viewport scale available in your specific drawing. For example, let's say you don't have 1 eighth of an inch scale in your drawing. To create this scale, get inside your viewport Use zoom command, type 1 divided by 96, 
96 being the scale factor for one eighth of an inch, XP and press enter. Now you created your scale. I'll give you one more example. Let's create 3 sixteenths of an inch scale now. Also, pro tip. If you want to have your viewport scales always available, then watch this video where I'll explain how to have them with a single click. Now that you know how to use AutoCAD viewports effectively, you'll be sure to help your friends by sharing this video.